All right, hey guys, for those of you that are just now stopping by to check out, check us out, thanks. Those of you that keep coming back, we really appreciate it. And to all of you, re please remember to like, subscribe, and if you like what you see, hit the little bell down there so you'll know the next time we post a video. Now with all of that out of the way, um, Today we're going to, since it's raining outside and nasty, again today, uh, we're cooking inside in the Christmas kitchen. And uh, so we're, today we're going to be doing a peach cobbler from scratch. Dana and I always put peaches up when they're in season. We, we put them into the freezer just so that in the middle of the winter, when you want a little something from summer, throw on a peach cobbler. So stick with us and we'll get to making it here in just a minute. Alright, so let's get to let's get to it and mix this stuff. Uh, I've got I've got my pan or my dish in the oven with uh, a quarter cup of butter melting and while that's melting Let's uh, let's mix our our cobbler mix here. We've got one cup of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and I know it sounds like a lot, guys, but trust me, a cup and a half of sugar, white sugar. Just gonna mix all of this together. We can get by with a cup and a half of sugar because our peaches that we put up, we did not add sugar to them when we put them up. It's a little lemon juice, a little fruit fresh, that's, that's all there was to it. Alright, then uh, uh, to that we're going to add a three quarter cup of milk. Mix them all together. Whoop. Yeah. Well, you, you'll be able to tell I've been in the kitchen today. All right. Give me just a minute and I'll pull that dish out of the oven and we'll put it all together. All right, so I got the dish out. And I'm just going to take a brush and I'm going to push this butter up the sides of the dish just a little way uh, to make sure it's coated. Uh, just want to kind of help keep it from sticking. And then we're nice and mixed up, really smooth. Just going to pour this right into this dish, right on top of that melted butter. And then our peaches, uh, which I should have put in a bowl, but didn't. <laughs> Gonna, uh, before I put my peaches down, I'm going to take my brown sugar and I just want to sprinkle a little bit around here. I probably won't use the entire half cup. It, a lot of it depends on the dish that you're using. Uh, but what the brown sugar is going to do, it's going to give you a little bit of a crust, kind of a little crunch on the on the top once it pushes through. Uh, and add just a, uh, well, we are going to use the whole thing it looks like. And it, it just adds a little bit more depth of flavor. Never be scared to season anything. 
even if it's wrong. All right. So then we're just going to take our peaches and we're just going to pour them right over the top. And then we'll put this in a 350 degree oven, bake it, and we'll see you guys in about half an hour. All right, guys. Well, we just pulled it out, and here's what we've got. So, see what you think. Yeah, you can see it's still, still bubbling a little bit, but it's thickening up quite a bit. Um, and you can see what I was talking about with that brown sugar adding a little crust to it as it cools a little bit more that crust will get a little thicker and you still got got this nice juice along the side so that's gonna go real good with some ice cream all right and again, thank you guys for stopping by our channel, spending the time to watch our video. We truly appreciate it. Uh, need all the likes, all the subscriptions we can get. And if you like what you saw, hit the little bell so that you'll know the next time we post. And if you guys have something that you want to see us cook, something that you're interested in, even if it's a recipe we've never done. Post it in the comments and we'll see what we can do. Because ultimately we're here to spend time with you guys and try to have fun with all of us. So thanks for stopping by.